Hi everyone, Mixed Media Girl here. So this is the next video in our Dollar Store Christmas series. And for this one, I've got this snowflake tray that I got from the Dollar Store. And not only is it really cool inside, but I thought the outside is super cool. It has multiple lines to control the flow of the paint. Now I did already try this once. The problem I think was I used a canvas that was a bit too small and also I wanted a square canvas. This is an 11 by 14. It came out still pretty, but this is a 14 by 14. I think it'll just work better. And on the other one too, I forgot to raise <laughs> the tray up. So it, it was sitting right on the canvas, which made it really hard to get all the paint to go where it needed to go. So this time we're gonna do it correctly. For this one also, I am going to use the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. And for anyone who has confusions on these, these are just ready to go pouring paint. You don't add anything to them. These specific ones you get at Michael's. I will also be using my double split 16 ounce split cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna move this off to the side while I fill up my cup. And I'm gonna be using white, blue, silver, some teal, and a little bit of purple. Primarily white, blue, and silver though. So if you don't like blue, please just don't watch this video. I've got white, regular white, and I've also got metallic white. And I need about 12 ounces of paint for this canvas size. So I'm not gonna fill this up all the way, but a good portion of the way. I'll speed this part up here. Okay, this should be a sufficient amount of paint. I'm gonna go ahead and get the tray on here. I have three little cups that I will be using to raise this. I'm gonna put them pretty close together. I don't want that to affect the design too much. It will a little bit. And I'm gonna center this as much as possible. All right, now instead of moving this around like a tree ring, I'm actually gonna just pour right in the middle as much as possible and let it go. So this, I'm gonna pour really slowly here and I will go ahead and speed this part up as well. All right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just let the paint continue to just cascade down. I'll probably let this sit for about five minutes or so and then we'll be back. Okay, this has largely slowed down, so I'm gonna very carefully lift this up. Now we do have still quite a bit of paint on top of the tray. I am gonna use that on some of the corners here. Try to get this without messing up my design at all. There we go. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pour some of this down onto the corners. All right, I think we're ready to tilt here. This looks awesome. So I'm gonna try to slowly tilt towards the corners. If you're doing this, you can of course tilt however you want. Uh, you could go in a circular motion, which look would look really cool. Give you a bit of a swirl effect. You could try this on a Lazy Susan. I'm working on getting a bigger Lazy Susan setup. For right now, I can only do up to about 12 by 12 canvases, but in the new year, I'll be able to do larger canvases. So for now, I'm gonna just have to carefully, slowly tilt. I am super happy with that. Really funky, totally interesting patterns throughout here. Let's let this sit here for a little while and then we'll do our close-up. All right, starting in the lower right corner here. So see all these funky lines? 
that we got throughout here. And this paint is super reflective, super shiny. Not quite as shiny as resin, but almost. So it's a little bit hard to show. Um, but definitely some funky patterns throughout. And overall maintained the shape. I'm also super in love with these colors. So I put just a smidge of the purple and just a smidge of the teal. Otherwise it was white, blue, and silver. So I think this is really, really pretty. One of my favorites in this whole series. Definitely better than the last one. There you guys go though. So let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, I'll put the link in the description for the playlist. And otherwise, I will see you all next time.